There is drama in the Charleston County School District once again. This comes as a high ranking employee is now accusing the superintendent of creating a hostile work environment and committing fraud with district's federal COVID dollars. While this all sounds like deja vu, there are some key differences between this new employee complaint and the one that eventually led to the former superintendent resigning. Nick Reagan has been following the situation. So Nick, what is going on at 75 Calhoun Street? Well, Katie Shelby, once again, a CCSD superintendent is accused of intimidation and creating a hostile work environment. Last year, Superintendent Eric Gallion was placed on leave after a letter to the board prompted an investigation that eventually led to his, his resignation. Superintendent Anita Huggins has not been placed on leave yet, and she may not be placed on leave at all because unlike last year, this super or this employee at the center of the complaint was already being looked at as part of a massive investigation into the district's ESSER funds. Now, those COVID relief dollars are required to be spent on specific things which require approval. The man who approves those program expenses is John Cobb, the executive director of federal programs. On Monday, he sent a letter to the school board saying Huggins pressured him into approving expenses for which he believed he had no prior authorization or programs that didn't qualify for ESSER dollars. At the end of the school year, Cobb's position is set to be eliminated and he's being moved to the role of executive principal, which he considers a demotion. The district side of the story is completely different. First, they say that that position change is not a demotion. It's the same level and salary as his current position. They also say the accusations come after the district began an external and independent investigation into ESSER money that wasn't being paid out to vendors properly. That investigation began in May and has increasingly focused more on Cobb and his position. In a statement, the district says that the district strongly refutes the allegations of a hostile work environment created by the superintendent, adding that the ESSER investigation revealed fixing the issues will cost the district more than $3 million. Now that investigation, it is expected to wrap up soon. Once it does, administrators say they will fully brief the public on what happened and the actions that will be taken. As for that employee complaint, the board is not set to meet again until June 24th, and they're the only ones who could possibly take action against the superintendent. Katie Shelby, back to you.